check it out. Hello, somebody let me out of the sewing room. I'm actually on location for a very special edition of the Sewing Report. Welcome, I help you here learn about sewing crafts and DIY projects. And I'm in Miami speaking and teaching at a conference called Deco Summit. It's put on by Ricoma Embroider Machines and this is the first ever event. Really excited to be here and show you around. Deco Summit is an educational conference aimed at decorated apparel pros. There were over 40 seminars and quite a few hands-on training classes in everything from machine embroidery to sewing. And that's where I come in. If you bought a VIP ticket, it included an extra day beforehand for a technical certification class taught by Mark Torres, Ricoma's assistant service manager. I had no idea what to expect, but I soon found out. Upon arrival, I was teamed up with some ladies to take apart the Ricoma EM1010, one of the entry-level embroidery machines. Not gonna lie, it was pretty intimidating as I have never used or owned a multi-needle machine. The purpose of this training is to equip owners with the knowledge and skills to do simple maintenance and repairs. Most of the attendees do operate small businesses. Are you on YouTube? Hello, yes. Yes. I, I was like, I know her somewhere. Do you guys all have businesses? I do, yes. All right, plug your businesses. Hi, I'm Sharon, location from Melville, Georgia. I own Sports Bonanza. We sell, we sell NFL, NBA, Ooh. paraphernalia. Come all see right. us, 3550 Center Hill Highway. All right. <laughs> DWH, DWBH Designs. All right. Edison, we do wreaths, custom embroidery, plaques, you name it. Very cool. Where are you coming from? Murfreesboro, Tennessee. All right, sweet, sweet. And this is Tony. Tony. Tony is. You're the quiet one? He's, He's very quiet. He's very quiet. Tony is here for the training. He's strong but silent. Yes. Yes. He's very strong. He's no muscle. here for the training to understand the machine. He's about to purchase his first Ricoma. Woohoo! So is this the one you have? Yeah. Yes. Woo. How do you like it so far? Oh, oh my gosh. God. While there, I thought I'd try to persuade some of them to join my class. Like a sewing machine? Like a real sewing machine, yeah. Oh, I don't mind. Ah, that's I what you can learn tomorrow. Oh, you mean like a sewing machine? Like a regular sewing <laughs> machine? You mean not oh an embroidery machine? <laughs> no, I know, it's crazy. Like you're actually building the base. It's crazy. The blank. Yeah, well that's you the good the thing is you can embroider the fabric and then you can you can make simple items like that yourself too if you don't want to buy the blanks. I'll be there. So Yeah. Yes. That's awesome. It's gonna be called beginning. Sewing, and we're just gonna go over some real basic. That's all right. That's Sorry. all right. Okay. Hey, no basic. worries. I need basic. No worries. It's because okay. I took sewing in high school, and my grandmother made my outfit. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Well, that's why I, I feel like sewing machines. I was the same way. I had taken sewing in home ec. It was terrible. Right. But the sewing machines have come so far. Oh really? Like the, you just need a machine that you like. Like that's the whole. Yeah. The whole thing about it, if you get a machine that, that you're cool with and that you can understand and you know it's comfortable for you, then it's really not. I'm not a naturally a crafty person. I started sewing when I was 30, so like you don't have to have been doing it your whole life or anything. You know, I was not like, like I was not that type at all. So that's why I wanted to encourage more people to because it's been a lot of fun. You know. I might check that out. All right, you're, you're changing your mind, changing hearts and minds here. All right, you ladies are fun. Next up, a quick trip to South Beach to see if it's as exciting as it looks on TV and in movies about Miami. Plus that diet craze of the same name. Well, maybe not so quick as I got caught up in rush hour traffic, but I did find a solid public parking garage at 7th Street and Collins. Unfortunately, no sign of JLo or Gloria Estefan, but the famous Ocean Drive does seem to be a huge draw for international tourism. Even though it was October, still lots of beachgoers on the sand and in the water. I decided to eat solo at my husband's favorite restaurant, a fish called Avalon. This is the miso glazed Chilean sea bass and pecan crusted key lime pie, which by the way is the 2019 national pie champion. I stayed at the AC Hotel Miami Airport, which I do highly recommend with its gorgeous modern interiors. In the morning, I was able to catch seminars about growing a business and social media. On Facebook Live with our audience, and it never fails that someone in the audience always asks, hey, how do I price my items? And, and I think it's natural. Make some generic tiger shirts, because people on Facebook, when they do business with businesses, they relate to, and they have a thing in common with. 
Because if you post just random stuff of your business, they're gonna think you're just a random business. And you don't want that. You want them to know that they're local. You want them to know that you're a local business. Explore the brand spanking new Rakoma headquarters. Meet some of the fellow experts and speakers. Hi, this is how are you? Hello, welcome. And you're thank teaching you. a bunch of classes on digitizing just to, embroidery. Just to, too. thank All right. goodness, yes. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> you as well. Looking forward to your class. <laughs> All right. How are you guys enjoying Deco Summit so far? So far, so good. I'm really enjoying it. It's great. I'm learning a lot. I'm speaking. And I got to watch this guy who just gave a presentation that was dynamite. I know, yeah, like, and that was your first time really, you said you've spoken to some classrooms before, but yeah. this is your first official gig. Yeah, so was yeah. Was it very exciting? Oh, it was like, of course I was nervous, just how anybody's nervous at first. I couldn't tell. Uh, <laughs> not when I practiced, man, yeah, I practiced. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it went great, I loved it, and hopefully I could do more. I have another one later on, so. Great. So what are you guys hoping to do? to get the most out of at this conference? Like, what are, is there anything in particular that, that you're hoping to learn or take away? Well, me, I'm trying to, first of all, get more experience, mm -hmm. network, and just have a good time. Yeah. That's it, man, have a good time. What he said. No, uh, that and also, hopefully, learning something and teaching something, you know? Because if, if you can get one thing from, um, any of these things, if you get one nugget, then it's worth it. And grab lunch from one of the food trucks parked inside one of the warehouses. Now onto the main event for me, a beginner's guide to sewing class where we made pillow covers. You have no idea how anxious I was about teaching for the first time, but I survived. Thanks to everyone who attended, I truly appreciated you being there. Later that night, the Rakoma team threw a VIP party and things got turned up. On the final day, I saw a heat press in action. learned how to embroider shoes. Okay, so you're at the eight, but you need to go in and you need to grab your design, which is DRC. So go ahead and click out and click OK. This is the smallest one on the eight in one fast frames. And what this does is, this will actually install on here. We're gonna have a sticky stabilizer that we're going to apply to the back and fold up so it has some support. And then we're going to stick the shoe, the tongue of the shoe directly on it and then we're gonna to check to make sure everything is done correctly and it's at the right spot. Then we're gonna hit go. And we're gonna actually stitch on the tongue of that shoe. And the first couple of stitches are actually gonna hold it on. Yeah. I need an embroidery tattoo. Embroidery tattoos? Okay, I'll let oh you pull that out of there. So what's something that you feel people should know about getting an embroidery machine like this? Don't be afraid of it. I like that advice. Yeah, don't be afraid, just go, just have some fun, make things for people. It's a great, great way to make extra money and it's just a lot of fun. And had a great talk with Daniel, one of Rakoma's trainers, all about sewing and fashion. As a younger guy, what interested you in particular about sewing? The fact that I was tired of every time I asked about it, somebody said, I don't know, man, that's for old ladies. Yeah. I kind of got like tired of that stigma because I mean, I have a, a couple people I look up to, like Alexander McQueen, or um, for, for instance, Virgil Abloh. There's a couple different designers that, that, that speak thoroughly on how they started getting their hands on garments and that they feel that sewing was what took them to the next level of understanding what it is to really, really create a garment. Because even for me, that I'm doing DTG, I could print all day, but there's nothing like when I sit there and actually cut and so you sew know something. you want to how to make a t-shirt. Exactly, make, how, to, how to cut and sew something from the beginning, like yeah. from the spool, I have a giant three yards worth of thread or, 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 or uh, material. How do I turn this into a shirt? I think that's what like really interests me and, and, and got me to where I am now. Watch the full conversation for more. Because of the, of the wealth of information that you're receiving, you're gonna go back and you're like, wow, I wanna try this. 
and I want to try that. And I call that the shiny toy syndrome. The, the formula for the road to success has been given to you over the last couple of days. One of the big draws to Deco Summit was the chance to win an embroidery machine. So who's the lucky winner? And the winner is... Vonda Howland! <laughs> This has been a really wonderful experience. I've met a lot of really awesome people and I've also learned quite a bit about the apparel business, what goes into it. It is a lot of work. I also got to see the embroidery machines in action, which was very cool. And all of the people at Rakoma are so nice and friendly. I so appreciate them inviting me. So Rakoma, thank you for the invitation. It was a real honor and a pleasure. And yeah, it was a really good time. And if you're looking for something else to watch in the channel, a while back I did an interview with Henry Moss, CEO of the company, and it is right here and I'm gonna link it. And I'm also going to connect you to some of the websites that you might be interested in. Some of the people I met, they also have their own embroidery companies or they do other types of businesses. So I'm gonna try to share them all here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this really, I guess, different type of video here on the channel, but I'll see you guys next time. All right, it's turning on. Yes. You still haven't put your covers on. Please raise your hand. Is that us? No, he's around. Okay. If you haven't installed your covers, please raise your hand.